Hey guys, welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, it's going to be a pretty quick one. What we're going to go over is just uh, 2D flipbook animations, how to get those set up. Uh, so what we're going to make here is that this spinning saw we have right here. Uh, we're not going to make the full blueprint that it's associated with. We're not going to be making it moving back and forth and you know, causing a to die or anything. Uh, we're just going to set it up so that we can see it spinning and we can put it into our level. So that's all we're going to cover. So to start, <clears throat> what we want to have is we want to go into Photoshop and we want to create our texture. So in Photoshop, I created these textures. It's the same saw, except it's been uh, spun 45 degrees so over the course of 360 degrees, just so we can get the animations that we want. Um, it has opacity, it has an alpha channel so that it's see through, everything like that. Uh, so make sure you set this up as what you want for your texture, or for your animation, I should say. So once you have those done, you can hop into Unreal Engine 4. And what we could do first, you know, go right-click in my folder, create a new subfolder called Textures. And then here I'm going to just right-click, I'm going to import. I'm just going to import all my targets. You can kind of click on it, see it, see how it's see-through and okay. So now that we have textures, <clears throat> what we need to do is then create sprites from these textures. So I'm just going to create a new folder called Sprites. Right-click. I'm going to go down to Paper 2D. I'm going to do Sprite. I'm going to name this one sprite underscore saw underscore zero one. And double click on that. Go into our textures, do our first texture, set it under source texture here at the top right. Just add that in. And now we got our sprite. Now what we can do is just duplicate this, do control W. Double click on that. And select our second one. For me, it's going to be the 45 degrees. Plug that in. Save that. Go back to our sprites and just continue this until all of our sprites are made. For as many um, animation, I guess, textures you have. So I'm just going to continue working on that. In total, there's going to be eight for me. So let's just kind of plow through this. Halfway done. And you can skip past this at any point if you really want to. Folks in Sprite 5, 180. So 180 is 225. Put that in. Duplicate. 70. And last but not least, 8th one. 315. And there we go. So now we have all our sprites. So now what we can do, let's just create a new folder, call it Flipbook. Yes, we can right click and we can either go under Animation and choose Paper Flipbook, or we can go under Paper 2D and choose Paper Flipbook. If we want to create a flipbook, we're going to call this FB for flipbook underscore spinning saw. <clears throat> now, so I can open this up. We we'll want to have our sprites ready. And what we we'll want to do is for keyframes, so we we'll want to add eight in total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we just want to add each sprite here under the sprite parameter. So sprite one. And you're going to see kind of flash. It's going to look weird. You may need to zoom in and out. 
to actually see it. So I'll just keep adding these sprites. So next is sprite 2, and sprite 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 8. <clears throat> Once we have you know, all the sprites in there, you'll stop seeing the flashing. And uh, some of the parameters you want to keep in mind are the frames per second parameter. You set this to like 50, spins it quickly, set it to like 2, and kind of, kind of chips its way there. So you want to find a happy medium. So I think anywhere between you know, 15 and 22 is fine. So I'll set this to, set it to 18. And pretty much how uh, the editor works too. Um, if you just hold down the right mouse button, you can move this way. Uh, left mouse button doesn't do anything. Holding them both down and moving the mouse zooms in and out. And also uh, scroll, scroll wheel zooms in and out. So primarily you'll be using the right mouse button to navigate in the viewport of the uh, flipbook editor. Uh, but past that, that's pretty much how you add that flipbook. So now. We can save it, grab it in our content browser, and we could just add it into our scene. And when we play, we can see it in the editor. And if you wanted to set this up as a blueprint, it's pretty easy to add it. Uh, so you can do new folder, just call this blueprint. Right-click actor class, make it an actor, we'll call BP spinning saw. And again, we're not going to add any fancy behaviors here. All we're going to do is just show you how to import your flipbook into a blueprint. So what we can do, let's select our blueprint, I'm sorry, let's select our flipbook in our content browser, navigate to our blueprint, go to components, add components. And if you scroll down, you'll have a section for paper 2D. You can just do uh, flip books, you know, FB underscore spinning song. You can add that in. And there you go. So that's how you add uh, a flip book to a blueprint. That's also how you create, uh, you know, sprites from textures and then a flip book from your sprites. So that's going to be it for this tutorial, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the content. I know it's pretty quick, pretty simple, but I thought I'd make this one just for those who are working with 2D, just to show you how to make a flipbook, kind of an overview of how it works. Uh, so if you enjoyed the content, again, just subscribe to the channel, like the video, uh, comment with suggestions on what you want to know about next, um, and check out my other videos as well. Um, but for now, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.